that, I've got little half pint jars of mulberry jelly. Now if you open them up, there's a couple ways to seal them. The way that we have sealed these is with a paraffin wax. So you just take hot paraffin wax and pour it on the top and it makes an airtight seal. Oh man, that's cool. That is cool. So here we are today with Jason Golden on his urban homestead here in Kansas City. He's one of the urban farming guys. So what do we got here, Jason? Well, this is my magnificent mulberry tree. It's June 6th, and these have been fruiting for about a week. And uh, I'm, I'm gently taking off the ones that are right and leaving the ones that aren't right. There's two ways you can do it. You can do it the laborious way like I'm doing it and picking each individual one off. Or you can lay a tarp down and shake the whole tree. But the trouble with shaking the whole tree is the, the ripe ones and the non-ripe ones are going to come off. So you're going to lose more of your harvest by doing it that way. So I'm, I'm doing it this way. So this is what we got. It's about maybe two cups or so. Try to get maybe eight cups per batch. Take them inside. All right. So we're taking our mulberries from our tree in the front yard, sticking them through this ricer. Now, what this ricer is good for is extracting the juice. So if you want to make a jelly or a clarified jelly, you'd want to get all the pulp out. Now, if you don't want all the pulp, you can make a preserve and just use uh, a potato masher and just crush them in the in the pan. But we're going to try to we're just going to try to extract some juice real quick. So what do you, what's the papery filter? This, this is cheesecloth, and this is just to keep some of the solids from going through these little holes. Okay. You can strain it a second time if you're really picky on how much to go through. What is that, a piece of wood? Yeah, this is a, I don't know what you call this thing. Mortar and pestle, maybe. All right, we're getting something. We're getting something. Mulberry juice. <laughs> and that thing is probably built just for the, uh, what's the metal thing called? You got me. <laughs> what's this here? This is a ricer. Ricer, okay. You can put apples through it, you can put grapes through it, anything that you want to smush. I, I, I guess, I don't know why you put rice through it, but that, they call it a ricer. So I'm pushing it kind of hard. I'm trying to get as much out as I possibly can. You do lose quite a bit of your volume when you just extract the juice. That's why a lot of people pres uh, do preserves or jams. So what are we making today? This is mulberry jelly. All right. Now ultimately you're going to want to do a bigger batch than this. So this is just to kind of show, show you how to do it. There you go. Put all that stuff in your compost bin. Nice. Where's your compost at? It's right behind me. What do you got back there, man? Where's that? Right behind you. Oh, that's my baroponics. All right, we'll have to do a future episode on that, buddy. <laughs> all right, let's take this goodness inside and see what we can make. All right, so here's your parts and pieces. You got your uh, fruit juice, mulberry juice. You've got about a half a cup. This is just a sample just to show you how. You prefer to have about four cups. As a rule of thumb with mulberry jelly, if you want it to set up right, you will need to add equal parts sugar and juice. You will also need to add a box of pectin. Mulberries do not have enough natural pectin to gel up on their own. You can also try substituting gelatin or cornstarch. Or if you want to do it with less ingredients, you can make preserves using half the sugar and no pectin. Now we're gonna take it over to the stove and get this guy going. So how are we gonna make it into jelly? Well, we are gonna heat up the juice until it begins to boil, and then we are gonna stir in the sugar and the pectin. You can also add a tablespoon of lemon juice and then bring it to a rolling boil. Then cook it for one minute and pull it off. Make sure you have your canning jars sterilized in boiling water, ready to go as soon as your jelly comes off. <laughs> so here we are at the Golden Acre homestead where cooking up some jelly, eating chicken salad sandwiches with chickens that were grown here 
right back there. There's family members back there. And bread that was just freshly baked in the $2 bread maker from the yesterday's garage sale. <laughs> Man, we are doing good here. Jelly from the mulberry tree, yeah. chicken from the backyard. I credit the bread, bread and from the bread salad oven. to my wife. I just opened the fridge and helped myself. Yes. Here we are for the taste test. We got some of the mulberry preserves. We burnt up that jelly. We were having so much fun, so we had to break out the preserves. But uh, all the same, actually, these are going to be better. They're not as sweet. So. Oh, man. That is good. Yeah, not sweet at all. Way less sugar in the preserves. Man. Man, why do people let their mulberry trees just fall on the ground? This is great. Mmm.